Bon evening, my well lovely friends. Buonasera. It is time. I'm gonna oh, say it like a pep so talk. Loud. You ready? It is the time that we go upstairs. Well, right now we're working on some Lara in the kitchen. Yes. Wonderful stuff. Lara has been making the house smell phenomenal, as usual. But this is the kind of stuff, like who needs a candle when you have this? A pot of chicken stock. Who made chicken yes. stock going? There's no need for a candle. So anyway, the lemon tree produced its lemons, and we need to go make limoncello, because they're going to go bad otherwise. Mm -hmm. So. And when life gives you lemons. What do you do? You make limoncello. You make limoncello. Oh, my phone just vibrated in my my pocket. Why, why do I have that? Does anyone else think their phone vibrate when their phone really didn't vibrate? I think I'm just getting old. Like, I feel vibrations around my body that are not real. And 10 times a day I check to see who's calling, who's texting, whatever, and there's nobody home. So what are we working on here? Huh? What are we working on here? She's confused. Yeah. This is a, a lemon that oh, we're going to yes. use for our lemon bowl. That is a lemon. That is exactly what that is. So what's this one for? This is for a loaded potato schmigadoo Loaded potato and broccoli soup. Mm. It's a little bit lighter yes. than my loaded potato soup because although we love that recipe, if I make a big pot of that, we will eat every single bit of it. For a month, <laughs> for a month straight. For a month, for like two days. All right. So I wanted to make like a lighter version that uh, was just as satisfying and delicious and yummy. So that's what I'm working on. That's a strong onion. Now, I went to the liquor store and I got vodka to make lemon shallow. I don't know if I did the right thing. You did. As long as I it's Googled specific it. proof. Proof. Yeah, it's 80 proof. That's what it says. Because they say you can use Everclear. But, but, I don't want to serve my guests limoncello made of Everclear because I don't know if they'll ever leave. <laughs> <laughs> they might be stuck here for a while. They so. might just be. I'm hoping it, it works out. I think it will. I'm looking forward It'll to it. It'll be fine. Non, excuse me, I have hiccups. When Nana makes it... Oh yeah, what does she use? Um, vodka. Does she? Yeah. Why don't we call her up, have her come over and make it with us? I wish. I can show you how to make it. It's really not difficult. You just need vodka, good lemons. The one tip I will give you, which maybe in the summer when we've got beautiful fresh lemons growing, not that we do, but we can get some. Um, I show you guys how to make it. The number one thing you need to keep in mind when you're making a limoncello is you absolutely, absolutely have to use organic lemons because you're using the peel. The peel. Well, these are ones that grew in our dining room, in our kitchen, really. Right. Well, we know that those porch. are going to be good. But the point is, otherwise, if uh, there's like pesticides and stuff on it, it'll be bitter, mm -hmm. and then we'll ruin your limoncello. Now, those of you who have bumped into Nana in the street, thank you very much. You How made her. Amazing. You made her day. She loves it. Quite it, a few of you have yes. been bumping into her, and now she says to me the other day, face the facts, I'm the star, and you're my assistant. Mm-hmm. Laura Vitale, the assistant of Nora. okay with that. <laughs> I am A-okay with that, because she's just the best. And she's also asking us to go there for Easter, by the way. Hmm. We could do that. We could pull it off. Oh, that is a sh You know, my full flash is going to come off with my tears. <laughs> Don't cry. It's okay. The onion is so strong. So we've got bananas, blueberries, Schnozberries that taste like schnozberries. The goji berries. And it's some kind of uh, cactus seeds. It is flaxseed. Oh, favorite. my bad. Oh, here they are. They're my favorite. What are flax seeds like all of a sudden? They're in everybody's diet. They're so good. I love, I don't know that I could eat yogurt without flax seeds anymore. Like, there's just something about the crunch. Yeah, I gotta try I mean, it. I see you do it all the time. I just gotta try it. You, uh, you always make fun of me. I don't really and make fun. I just so say good. that they look like little bugs in your in your yogurt. What can I say? They don't look like bugs. Um, all right, so we gotta get started. What is it? I don't know what a goji berry tastes like either. Like I am just not sure. I've never had any one of these things by itself. What's the worst that can happen? Tastes like a. They're actually really sort of like a raisin. They're actually really addictive, and then after you eat like a way more than you should, your mouth tastes weird. Hmm. Our nose tastes like uh, exactly what they look like. Little brown things. They're so good. Technically though, they say that to get the full health benefits from flax seeds, you should grind them. You should like, you should grind them up a little bit. Um, I, I mean, I tend well, to Well, you sort of grind them when you eat yeah, them. Yeah, I mean, I tend to think that doesn't really make a difference because when you chew on them... Maybe they just, just pass you know, right on through. But they're really good. There she is, folks. I say we go up and do our limoncello while we wait for the other recipe to to cook. What do you think about that? I'm so in. Well, I will be stealing half of that from you. Mm. While you work on, well, sort of tonight's dinner, maybe tomorrow night's dinner, because I've been eating a lot of stuff here from <laughs> LITK. We're going to investigate my lemons and make sure none went bad. They smell really good. No. So by the way, this is one of my favorite 
ways to have fish. This is what Laura's making. I believe this is your Nona's way to do it too. Mm -hmm. And I think all you guys should let us know. It's really good. What, whether you want to see this and what your favorite way is to have fish. Mm -hmm. This is just so simple and so... Um, it's just good. Mm. It's just, so good. There's just something about it that really hits the spot. And Nana makes it this way in the oven or she makes it stove top. But most of the time, if she's making more than just enough for her, she makes it in the oven because it's just, it's easy. And it's exactly the same thing, but it tastes exactly the same. I don't know about these. You see how you can see the ribs in them now? Because they started to dehydrate a little bit because the air is dry. Maybe because you just need to cess. Well, know? they're Mayer lemons too. I don't know much about Mayer lemons. They're waxy on the outside too. It's just kind of weird. Like there's not, no wax. They're not waxy, but they're, they're they feel different to you because you've never you've never t test you know had a lemon like that. Well, I'm curious about what they look like on the inside. Well, look at that, making it through the winter. Is that a bug on there? No. All right, she's taking a bath. We're gonna go make some limoncello. It's gonna be great. All right, so we have nine lemons. It'll be fun. We have 80 proof Leave it to me. vodka. Leave it to me. And a user's manual for how to program a variable speed AC drive for a motor. That you don't need to me. No? You're not gonna do that for me? That's what I've been working on today. Can I help you? Mm -hmm. You want to actually. How about you start peeling those other lemons? Try not to get too much of the white though. That's the key. All right, let me try my the best. The key is to smell them. Do you smell that they're sweeter than the lemon? Oh wow, they actually smell really good. I was worried they would smell like kind of like not as good because they were no, off what? the tree for a while. Listen, Look at that do stuff. you remember my Nona's tree where you used to pick stuff down off of it? And every time you go to Italy, you say the lemons smell different here. Mm -hmm. That's the what oranges, they smell like. They smell like it's, it's pure, man. Try not to get too much of the white, but if you get a little bit, it's fine. Because you are going to be sweetening it up. Sweetening it up. I am going to make a video on the writing kitchen, though. I really am. Let me get started. All right, 24 hours in. It looks a slight tinge of yellow, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe that's just reflective uh, light off the lemon peels. Yep. I don't know. Maybe it's a little bit yellow. What do you think? No. I, I think, think it's, it's just slight. A little bit, yeah. Slightly. Definitely slightly yellow. But we need to wait a week from when we did it. So... Let's see. That was yesterday. Sunday. On Sunday. No, we did this yesterday. So Monday. Six or seven days. Tuesday. Today's Wednesday. I don't even know what day it is anymore. Today's Wednesday. Okay, so we gotta so do this next Tuesday. Let me take another look at it. You can here. do between five and seven days. You can even go up two weeks if you want to before you put your simple syrup in there. But Looks like lemon peels. But it smells like it does smell it smells like, like lemon cello. I mean it? it smells like lemon cello. Which That's smells crazy. different than lemons. Lemons and limoncello don't smell exactly the same. They no, have like a different scent. No, it's a very scent. kind of strong. You can almost smell the bitterness. Yeah, you know yeah, saying? it's different. It is different, but I look so fine right now. <laughs> your, your hair is all like crazy. My, I have some sort of weird allergy going on today. I don't know what it is. I don't know if I was around a pet. Like I don't know what. You Could just be the me. really, really dry air. My face is so, so dry and cracking right now. Nasaliness is is what's killing me. But anyway. What I really want to do is um, I want to do Mayan lemons, and I want to do regular lemons, and I want to do orange, and I want to do tangerine, and I want to do a whole bunch of different citrus because they're just the best to bake with. Like my Nona always hardly ever makes dessert without adding some sort of limoncello in it. Am I right though? No, you're right. It always adds a great deep, looks like a great cakes, flavor. Cookies. She adds it in everything, and it makes such a big difference. And when it's homemade, it's just the best. Uh, um, all right, three questions for everybody. One, have you watched Making a Murderer? Two, <laughs> uh, that shows did anybody win the Powerball yet? We should probably check on that. And if you did, I wear a size seven and a half shoe. Wait, oh, if, if I won, you mean? <laughs> if no, if anybody won. Okay, <laughs> very funny. Uh, what else? Third thing, uh, what, what were the two I did so far? Making a murderer, which mm -hmm. is your Yeah, if anybody, I want to hear your guys' opinions about yes. it. Well, I won't say know, how I feel. What you have to know is we only know about this case. I only know about see. what's in what's in it. So if you if you guys, it's funny because I don't even think I've ever heard of this case before, mm -mm. and it was on like Dateline and stuff. And you think I mean it was Dateline. It was on all the big news. Uh, Nancy Grace has had covered it, but I never heard of it until this until this documentary, which is kind of bizarre. So I only know the, the side the side that the documentary shows. I'm curious about what you guys think because it sounds like this is a very very Clear case of corruption. What's That's that? All. Your case of corruption. You think so? Absolutely. Well, you only Watch saw the documentary. The show. You only saw the documentary. Right. I can only so go by what I'm So I think I'm it's seeing. fair to say that, based on what I've seen, it appears to be a case of corruption. Right. 
what do you guys think? Because maybe all I saw was a documentary. Maybe there's a whole other side to this. And from what I understand, there is a whole other side. And I haven't seen the other side of it yet. So Also, to the Powerball... Power, okay. If you want a billion dollars... If you want a billion... Listen, first of all, I would never want to win that. If I want a billion dollars... Number two, this is what I read. I read you have a better chance of getting struck by lightning twice at the same time while you're drowning than winning the Powerball. I think that if I won the Powerball, uh -huh. I would buy a town. There is a town for sale somewhere. Maybe somebody sold it. I would it. buy a town and move all my family. Yeah, I want my own zip code. I think that'd be cool. I want And then I donate buy, the rest. I want to buy a town and then build supermarkets and all the spot. I want to literally buy well, a no, town. The town that was for it. sale was only like two houses, a post office, and a barn. And I think they only, they only want like four million for it. So if you had a billion. Well, I need to move my whole family. So I need you, to make a little Italy so that they can get it. Yeah, I like that. I mean to move the, you know, the ocean. I don't know. That'd you'll have your own zip code. You'll have Salvatore, Salvador, Laura Vital. Mama, Nonna, all my uncles, my aunts, all my cousins. Would you, have, would you have your own airport? Because <laughs> the airports get expensive. Well, you just go to your airport. Here, go to the airport next door. All, all right. Well, I'm going to get this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed the limoncello process. Hopefully, we'll get to see Thumbs it when it's up if you want to see a formal Laura in the Kitchen video on measurements and all that stuff on limoncello, and I will provide. And we have some big announcements coming up uh, in the short future, in the near future. Yes. Can't wait to announce them. And you guys will be the first to know when they come out. Yes. And see you guys in the next one. See ya.